Who needs those flimsy cardboard eclipse glasses when you have one of these? A team from the NASA Armstrong Flight Research Center will use this aircraft to capture a stunning crystal clear view of the event from 35,000 feet above the Pacific Northwest. We've had two complete dress rehearsals of this, uh, just like you would with anything else. I mean, uh, exactly and today we flew over the exact location at the exact same times and everything worked out okay. So uh, I'm pretty confident that we'll be able to execute this tomorrow. They installed special photo quality quality optical windows just for the eclipse and outfitted the aircraft with a high definition video system which will allow NASA to stream the first pictures of the eclipse to a global audience. It's going to be the most observed such event in history. A team of researchers will conduct a set of experiments on board the jet measuring the sun's radiation, heat and light levels. The innermost atmosphere of the sun is where most of the activity comes from and we actually can't observe it very well even from space. And so by the moon blocking it for the one and a half hours when the shadow goes across the US, we have a unique vantage point on that uh, atmosphere, on that corona that we normally don't get. This airplane is part of a network of sophisticated tools, including 50 balloons and 11 spacecraft, which NASA is using to study the rare eclipse. If you cannot get a clear view from the ground, this team has you covered from high above. You can watch the live video stream from this aircraft on NASA's website and on king5.com. NASA says it chose Seattle as a base for this flight because it's just too crowded down in Oregon this weekend. Not only are roads jammed, but so too are airports and they needed a little more room to set up and to get ready for tomorrow's flight. So the team is resting up now before getting up very early and then heading south. Live at Boeing Field, Ted Land, King 5 News.